Hello intellectuals, you are welcome to our today's tutorial. We have a part two of mensulation that is dealing with frustum of pyramids. In the previous video, we learned on how to find the volume of a frustum of a pyramid. Now, if you recall perfectly well in our previous video, if you haven't watched that one, please make sure you watch it. We'll put a link in the description. We said the first thing you're supposed to do is to check for your base. So there are only two uh, possible options. It's either they give you a frustum of a pyramid which has a square base or a rectangular base. So in our first video, we used a frustum which has a square base. In this case, we have a frustum. If you look at our question, it's saying a rectangular pyramid. So already what should come in our mind is the base is a pyramid. I mean a rectangle of this pyramid. Okay, so if you are new to this video, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. If this video will help you share with your friends so that you support our channel and we will be able to produce a lot of videos to help you as well. Okay, so we dive in into our question. Now, this one has got one simple formula. I explained in the first video to say there's no need for you to start extending, you know, extending so that you get the part which was cut. No, 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 no. There's no need for that. So what we're going to do, we're going to be using areas for us to calculate the volume for this frustum. Okay. So let me quickly put out the formula for this first term. So whether it's a square based uh, first term or a rectangular based first term of a pyramid, the formula still stands. So we have this formula here. We are saying volume is equal to the height over three. Then open brackets, we have area one plus area two plus the square root of area one times the area two. Now this is I, the areas I'm talking about, where do you get them? We go back to our question. So if you look at this, let's, let's check first of all the bottom base. Hi. So we'll take this bottom base as area 1, then the top base as area 2. Okay, so let us quickly come down. So if you check here, you've seen that you're given the length here. It is also different from this length here. So this should tell you to say, this cannot be a square-based pyramid. It means it's a rectangular pyramid. And it's even written here. So we are going to find the area of this base here. How do you find the area of a rectangle? Okay, so let us collect our data. So we have area 1 and area 2, just down here. At the same time, on top here where we have area 2, again, we have this length which is different from this one. Already, so if you have a bottom base to be a rectangle, just know even on the top after you cut it, it also becomes a rectangle. So there's nothing like on top it's a square, on the bottom it's a rectangle, no. So it will be the same uh, base. Okay, so let us calculate the areas there. So area of a rectangle is L times B. So the length times the breadth. So in this case, the length, 10 centimeters multiplied by, I mean 14 centimeters multiplied by the 10 centimeters. So that is for the area one. So we have 10, I mean 14 times 10 there. So when we multiply 14 times 10, since it is paper two, you can use your calculator, it's fine. So 14 times 10, it is giving us 140. So because it is area, 140 what? I'm coming back to the units area is in square units so since the units we know them now so we'll write centimeter square good let us come to the area on top here the area two so here we we'll have eight multiplied by the four centimeters so eight times four okay what's the answer 16 plus 16 32 good so here we have 32 centimeter squared okay so since we have the areas, again on the formula here, there's the part where there's what? Height. 
So finishing the question, it is saying, given that the height of a frost dam is 11.4 centimeters, calculate its volume. So we have again the height as 11.4 centimeters. So we can go straight into our calculations then. So substituting these values that we have, it's very important that you write down your formula and you collect your data like this. It becomes easier to insert the values when you are ordering. So let us put where there is height, we have 11.4. And where there is area 1, we have 140 centimeters squared. So 140. Where there is area 2, we have put 32. Then inside the brackets, we are multiplying 140 times 32. Okay. So let us see motive uh, let us add what is 140 plus 32. So this 11.4 over 3 just bring it as it is. Of course if you want you can divide and carry that big fraction but for now just keep it like that. What is 140 plus 32? Good 172. Then you also multiply now inside the square root. Remember we have not simplified that square root. Eh? So we just multiply what is inside what is 140 multiplied by 32? Okay, good. So that is 4,480, this part here. And they are still in the square roots. Of course, here outside between the 11.4 and what is in the brackets, there is multiplication because of the bracket. Again, we bring down the 11.4 over 3 until we are done with what is in the brackets. So punch on the calculator. What is the square root of 4,480? Now, if, um, if you happen to find a number which is not exact, okay, in, in case you find a number which is not a whole number, it has decimal places, or it has a decimal point, make sure you write the entire number. Don't feel lazy. Make sure you write the entire number because that value will be accurate. So in this case, if you punch, you're having this. So I've written the entire value. Don't feel lazy. It's a six mark question. So you have this answer. Then add it to 172. Again, bring down the 11.4 over 3. Then adding those two, we have 238.9328021. Then now I'm going to multiply. Since I'm done with what is in the brackets, I'm now going to multiply with what is outside the, the brackets. So I'm multiplying with the 11.4 times this value which is in the bracket. So when you multiply, you are having this value, 2723 points, those values, divided by a 3. So if you divide it by a 3, you happen to get this value, 907.944648. Remember our instructions are saying, we need to leave our answer to three important numbers. Coming back to the integral part of this question, we have exactly three numbers. So we're supposed to end here where there is a point. So in this case, it means our rounding digit is a seven. So we'll check the next number after, I the next number after the point is above, is greater than five. So what should we do? We add the one to seven. And because these numbers, they are after the point, we are not going to include them. If we, they were before the point, we will make them to be zeros. So in this case, to three significant figures, the answer will be 908 centimeter cube because it is volume. So this is your final answer. You are done. It means you scoop your six marks. So thank you very much again, guys, for watching. Um, if you are new and you have not considered to subscribe, Please make sure you subscribe to our channel and check out some other previous videos that we've done.